there are two capacitors in series here, and that's in uh, parallel with the two microfarad capacitor. So we're going to need to reciprocally add these two, so 1 over 6 plus 1 over 4, and invert that answer. And this is 2.4 microfarads. That's in parallel with the 2. So adding 2.4 plus 2 gives you 4.4. I'm going to circle that because that's an equivalent capacitance of this right here. Now let's think about this. The 3 then is in series okay, with the 4.4. Okay, and uh, we still have a 6 volts attached to this. So I'm just going to write a representation here. So this is the 3 and then the 4.4. Okay, now we can add these two together because now they're a series. We're going to reciprocally add those. 1 over 3 plus 1 over 4.4 and then invert that. The C total for the whole circuit is 1.8 microfarads. Now what about the charge on that 1.8 microfarad capacitor? Well, I'm just going to say Q is equal to CV, so 1.8, okay, multiplied by 6. And that's going to be 10.8 microcoulombs. So what that means is, on the 3 microfarad capacitor, we've got 10.8 microcoulombs. And on the 4.4, there's 10.8 microcoulombs. So I'm going to write that over here. So we know that this one is 10.8 uh, microcoulombs. But this combination here has the 10.8. Okay, so I want to figure out what the voltage is on the 4.4 because that will be my volts on this line as well as this line. So I'm going to calculate that over here. Voltage is equal to 10.8 divided by 4.4. And that turns out to be 2.45 volts. So I know there's 2.45 volts here and 2.45 volts here. Now I want to get my charge on this 2 microfarad capacitor. So then I just say Q is equal to CV, so 2, and then multiply that by 2.45, and that's 4.9 microcoulombs. So now I know there's 4.9 microcoulombs on the 2 microfarad capacitor, and there's 2.45 volts. Okay, now this 2.45 volts is on this 2.4 combination here of this series right here. So if I want to know the charge on these two here, I can just say Q is equal to CV, so 2.4, and multiply that by the uh, volts of 2.45. Okay, and that turns out to be 5.88 microcoulombs. So I'm going to write 5.88 microcoulombs and 5.88 microcoulombs. And if I wanted to find the volts on these, I could take 5.88 divided by 6 and 5.88 divided by 4, and I'll get my volts on that 4 and the 6, and that would add up to be 2.45 volts.